Hey everyone, Dan Bernard here with another tutorial. And today I'm going to be continuing my Adobe Audition Basics series. And I'm going to be talking today about how to set up your system to record audio. Being able to record audio is one of Adobe Audition's most fundamental applications. And today I'm gonna to show you how to set up your system so you can record quality sounds. Maybe you wanna do some voiceover for a short film, do ADR, record your audio for a podcast or tutorial like I'm doing right now, or maybe you wanna record some sweet Foley for your project. Whatever your application is, the steps to get there are the same. You need to properly set up Audition to recognize an input device to record that raw audio so that you can make all the necessary edits you need to fit your project. And today I'm gonna to show you exactly how to do that. First thing that you need to do is go to File, New, and click on Audio File. And we're just gonna call this voiceover, the sample rate, channel, stereo, mono, whatever you wanna do. And I'm just gonna leave the sample rate at 4,800 hertz, stereo, 32-bit float is all correct. So I'm gonna hit okay. And then it opens up a new file here in the waveform editor. And from here, I just need to tell Audition what input device I need to use to record my audio. So I'm gonna go up to edit, preferences and click on audio hardware. And this is a very important window here. The first thing you see here is the device class dropdown. That's just telling you what audio renderer and codec you want to use. And I'm just gonna leave this as MME. The next dialog box here is the most important one. This is the default input. Now this is going to tell Audition what input that's available to my system do I want to use to record my sounds. Today, I'm just using a USB M audio microphone for this tutorial, so I'm gonna go ahead and leave it as that. Maybe you're using a gaming headset or a phantom powered mic coming from a mixer. Whatever your input is, this is where you need to select it. But like I said, I'm just using this USB microphone, so I'm gonna go ahead and click it and leave it as such. My default output, I'm gonna leave as my speakers and the clock and latency are correct. And if I wanted to double check what my system sounds were set to, I could click this settings button and this would bring up my operating systems available devices for playback. And in this case, I'm using my speakers as my default device and we're good to go. And from here, I'll just click okay. So now that my settings are correct, all I need to do is hit the record button right down here or hit keyboard shortcut shift space. And now as I talk, you'll see Adobe Audition is writing the waveform to its file. And I can go back and listen to that once I hit stop. And now as I talk, you'll see Adobe Audition is writing the waveform to its file. And there we go. And of course, from here, I can make edits, I can make selections and do all the things that you would expect. I can go to my effects rack, I can add effects to this and pretty much do whatever I want that fits my project. And when I'm done making edits, adding all my effects, whatever I'm doing, you go up to File, Export, File, and now I just need to name and give a location to this file and hit OK, and it will save it. So I hope this gives you a good understanding of how to get set up to start recording your own sounds. Like I said, whether it's podcast, voiceover for a tutorial, you're doing ADR for a short film, or maybe even recording some Foley, whatever you're doing, just follow these steps if you're using Adobe Audition, and this will get you set up and ready to go. If you liked this tutorial, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section below. And if you don't wanna miss any additional Adobe Audition basics or other audio post-production tutorials, hit that subscribe button. Once again, my name is Dan Bernard, and thanks for stopping by.